Hello and welcome to this IQPC podcast, presented in conjunction with the Pipeline Integrity Management Summit 2011. I'm your host today, Helen Windsor, and today I'm speaking to Roland Palmer-Jones, Head of Pipeline Integrity at Pence Pen. Roland, welcome to the show. How are you today? Hi, Helen. Thanks. I'm very well. Great of you to join us ahead of the event. What are the implications for operators who are unlucky enough to have a subsea pipeline struck by an anchor? Well, there are a number of things that may happen. Uh, the first thing that could happen is that the anchor could cause the total rupture of the pipeline. This obviously has uh, major consequences for the operator. But in terms of knowing what to do, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You, you have to shut down and you have to get it uh, fixed as soon as possible uh, with a replacement section. A, a more complex case in some, in some ways is where you have severe damage, but the pipeline hasn't actually failed because then you have a lot of uncertainty about whether it may fail in a short time or whether you've got a long time to respond to it, how severe that damage is, and how you can repair it. Do you need to shut down totally, which has a huge impact, obviously, on uh, production and uh, loss of revenue and so on? So if you do have an anchor strike, you've got a a lot of uh, issues to consider, particularly if you don't have an immediate failure. Obviously, if you have an immediate failure, that's, that's terrible, but rare. Where you have damage, you've got some hard choices to make on what you're going to do next. And um, what plans should operators have in place to prepare themselves for potential damage? Well, obviously, you need some sort of emergency response procedures. So if you do have um, a rupture or something like that, you need to have things in place to make sure you can get everything safe. You can depressurize the pipeline and so on. If, if you haven't got that severe situation, but you've, you've got some uh, some major damage, then you need to make sure you can respond appropriately for that. You may have to reduce pressure. You will want procedures to, to guide your staff in, in what to do uh, and so on. You may need to have access to contractors, people who can go and inspect the line, either divers or ROV operators, that sort of thing. And, of course, you're going to need to have access to spares and appropriate equipment for, for doing a repair. And so you need to know what sort of things you're going you're gonna to have. What were the highlights for Penspen over the last year, and are there any projects of note? Um, well, as, as relates to uh, pipeline repair, we, we get asked by lots of different pipeline operators to advise them either in the case of damage incidents or uh, in preparation. And one particularly interesting project we've been involved with over the last uh, year or two has, has been for a company called Qatar Gas. They operate a... Uh, gas field of Qatar and uh, yeah. an LNG yeah. plant. Um, we've been working with them on their emergency pipeline repair system, which, uh, which has been fascinating because they're taking a uh, very proactive approach to looking at what is credible damage for their system and what are suitable repair systems. So they've put in place a set of uh, best-in-class procedures, uh, and they've also developed some uh, excellent uh, repair systems which are now available and uh, to them for, for rapid repair of credible damage to their system. So that, that's, been, that's been very interesting working with a forward-looking operator like Qatar Gas. Um, now, of course, you're giving a presentation at this year's Pipeline Integrity Management Summit. What are you looking forward to most from the event? Well, I'm actually looking forward to getting getting comments and input from the, the other people who will be there. There will be, uh, I'm sure, experts from various other consultancies and also from operators and, and uh, uh, regulators. And it would be interesting to get their view on uh, re- preparedness for these damage incidents. Obviously, different people have different uh, takes on it. Your regulators are often looking at safety or security of supply, uh, operators, generally uh, very concerned with uh, profitability, uh, and consultants, of course, have a wide range of experience and may have a view on best practice. So it's getting that feedback and seeing what uh, the other people at the conference have to say and contribute, and I'm looking forward to. Well, I know that we've got a broad range of operators, regulators, and consultants who will be attending and um, speaking at the event, so I do hope that it provides a really useful forum for you. Now, just for the benefit of our listeners, if you would like to attend the Pipeline Integrity Management Summit 2011, for further information about the agenda and the speakers, please visit www.pipelineintegritysummits.com. Alternatively, you can contact our inquiries team for information. Their email address is inquire at iqpc.co.uk or call 0800 652 2363.